Hi y'all, Connie here. So I have, this is my Harborside tea, the original sample uh, or the uh, prototype, I guess. And I thought that I would bring you along with me while I wash and reblock it. So this will be the third or fourth time that I've washed it. Um, it is plant-based fiber, so it tends to shrink up, but I'm gonna see just how much it does that with this new rewashing. So um, yeah, that's why I am in the floor of my studio space here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lay it down on my blocking mats and I'm gonna measure it and I'm gonna write it down. And I'm gonna see how much it shrinks back just getting wet again and see if it still pulls up a lot or if it doesn't. If it doesn't, I can probably block it pretty gently. If it shrinks up a lot, I'm going to pull out my blocking wires and stretch it back to the dimensions that I want. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, I will show you the measurements, then we'll give it a bath, let it soak for a while, and then we'll come back to the floor here and block her out and see, see how she looks. Okay, so here she is. This is um, before she's been washed. And, um, yeah, I may or may not have dropped some pizza on the front of it <laughs> the other day, the last time I wore it. So, yes, we are ready for a washing. All right, so from the shoulder to the hem, we've got about 17 inches. So, hem to shoulder, 17 inches. And then, sorry, I just wiggled you, didn't I? Um measuring straight across under the underarms we've got about 18 inches so underarms oops 18 inches all right so when I wash her I want to see if she stretches back out because I want I want it to stay about the same same size and so down here it's not quite 19 inches so there's a little bit of a flare here some hip shaping, if you will, uh, even though this is pretty cropped on me, so it doesn't need hip shaping really, but uh, I guess this part is waist shaping, we'll say that. And then the sleeves are, let's see, you know what, let's put a couple stitch markers, not stitch markers, <laughs> a couple pins down, so this is where the neck is, this is where the top of this is, this is right here and so this is where we want to stretch her back out to so something like this and then over there and what have we got one two three four five six inches yep that sounds about right so one two three four five six inches so that's what I will aim to block her back out to and then down here, we'll go here and there. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen inches? Yeah, so that's that's what I want. I want it to be eighteen inches across here at the underarms, and then we want to block it down to about. Actually, I guess if it's 19 inches, we want about halfway. And then this total from the shoulder to the seam should be 17 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes. Okay. So that's our <laughs> reblocking layout. That's where we want her to fit. Okay. So I'm going to go put her in the bath. And then after that, we will come back here and see how much she has shrunk back. Okay, so here we are at the sink. I'm gonna put a little bit of rinse-free wool wash in here. Usually I put it in while the water is running, but that's pretty noisy. And this is what I'm using right now. And I do like it. I like the, little, the light lavender scent. All right, so that is probably dissolved enough in there. All right, and here is Harbicide. In she goes. So I'm just going to kind of smush her down in there to make sure that I get it all in the water. And I don't want to, you don't want to pick it up 
and pull it, right? You wanna keep the weight of it supported at all times. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this here to soak for 20 to 30 minutes, and then I will come back and pull her out and press the water out with a towel before taking her to the walking mats. So I will meet you back here in a little bit. Okay, we are back. She has had a nice little soak, a little bit of agitation. I did get in there and kind of squish around. And as you should be able to see, that water is kind of dirty. <laughs> so it was definitely time for a bath. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I would normally go ahead and drain the tub or the sink, but it's kind of noisy. So I'm just going to kind of lift her up out of the water and squeeze out that excess water. So I don't want to wring it. I don't want to pull on it. I always want to support the weight of the fabric. And on a bigger piece, what I'll do is I'll push it against the side of the sink of the tub or the tub to kind of help me smash out that extra water. All right, so now I'm gonna take her to a towel over by my blocking mats and I'm gonna press out some of the extra water even more, okay? All right, so here we are at the towel. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay it out and look, it definitely looks like it shrank up. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Sorry, I'm jiggling the camera again. I'm gonna lay the towel over on top of it. I'm gonna roll it up in here and then I'm going to press out the extra water. Sometimes I will even stand on it or put my knees on it, but that would be weird on the camera right now. <laughs> so I'm just using my hands to try and press out some of that excess water. And y'all, if you want to, like if you wash it and you see that dirty water and you're like, ooh, I need to wash it again, you can absolutely do that. Um, but the, uh, the rinse-free wool wash, if you've got enough water in there, it usually does a pretty good job. All right, so here you can kind of see that outline where we smushed up all that extra water. All right, so I'm just going to pull this over here. And I'm going to make sure that we're kind of in the center. All right, that will work. All right, I'm going to move my light also so that I'm not in it, hopefully. Okay, so let's stretch her out and see what she looks like. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get my blocking wires. I am definitely going to need them. Do you see how much this shrank back? All right, so here's our neckline. That's not too bad. But look. I've got almost two inches that I don't have anymore. Like I can smooth it out and get it to within an inch pretty easily, but that shrank back quite a bit still again. So, and then here, here, we've got an, about an inch here. And where's my, I lost my pen on the inside or maybe I didn't put one down. Uh -oh, I better make sure it's not on the floor. Anyway, and then here, over here, so this should stretch. What did we say it was? 18 inches? Where's my measuring tape? Let's see how much it shrank back. Just getting wet. Okay, 15 inches. Look at that. That shrank back three inches. That's crazy. Okay, I have to go get my blocking wires, so I will be right back. Okay, I am back now. And I have some blocking wires. I'm probably only going to use two. I'm probably only going to use two right there. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this hanger inside carefully so that I don't stretch the neck out a super lot. So this is a reminder that if you want this to be wash and wear, you need to make sure that you check to see how your fabric behaves before you commit to the size. All right, so now I'm gonna take these blocking wires and I'm going to run them up inside the garment and then out the top here near the shoulder seam. Actually, I need to go over one more, I think. There we go. Okay, so there's one on that side. I'm gonna put another one on the side. And my 
it's probably in the way, but hopefully nobody minds too much. Okay, so I'm putting this hanger in here so that I can use that to stretch the top up and it'll give me a little bit of shoulder shaping. Instead of putting blocking wires in here to stretch it straight across, I'm just going to use this hanger instead, okay? All right, so now we want, we want our neckline here and then I'm gonna stretch this kind of aggressively down. All right, and then we wanna pull this at the bottom all the way over here, <laughs> right? Okay, so let's, I can't pin this exactly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this here and then I'm gonna take my pins in the corner oh, and I lost, all right, so where do I want it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and a half. So I want this corner there. See how much that's pulling? Oof. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And so I'm just putting the stitch marker into the corner of the fabric. And of course I lost it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and a half. So I wanna pin it right there. Ooh, that's a long stretch over there. Okay, so now I'm gonna gently pull this back up because I want it up there, right? And then I wanna stretch right here, this at the bust line, right? So I want that to come in to about 18 inches where arm of pins. All right, so under the underarms here, pull it back up so it's up there and stretch to 18 inches. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I am not on, I need my blocking wire to be in there. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my, here, I will get up and walk around. That way I'm not putting my head right in the middle of everything. Okay, so we're gonna keep this, whoops. Stay there. All right, now we're going to gently stretch. We'll see if it behaves. So we want it to come about here. And so it stretches over there all right. It just doesn't want to be there on its own, it needs convincing. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually gonna pop this down so it's not sticking out of our shoulder up here. And now I'm gonna pull this up again. And I'm gonna pull this down. All right, and then I need you to stay at 18 inches, please. So that'll do there. And then this one pulled over again. So I'm gonna stretch it and my big head's in the way, isn't it? All right, stay put there. Okay. And we're gonna push this down. Okay, so there, now we're not pulling down on our shoulder anymore. Okay. So that'll, that will work. All right, and then I wanna open these sleeves back up a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of stretch them. And I'm gonna pin this one here. It doesn't really need pinning, I don't think. But that will hold it in here because I do need this opening in the sleeve. You know what? I think I'm going to change my mind about this hanger and I'm going to use blocking wires after all through these shoulders and then I will just, I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right, so we're going to put this through 
at the shoulder up here. And then I'm going to put it through on the side. Try not to go through the holes there. Okay. So I'm going to take, here's my shoulder seam at my neckline. Pin it there. Pin it here. All right, so I'm just going to stretch this up, All right? And let's get some blocking wires for blocking these guys to make this sleeve straight again. So there's one and two. And we'll throw one in here to keep that sleeve nice and open. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, that's looking all right. This one doesn't want to stay either. Let's put another one in here. I'll make it a little bit stronger there. Okay, and come back over here on this side. Work on this side again. And I'm scooting the whole menagerie. Here, do I have this? neck centered that's a good question so one two three four here one two three four so we'll put this right there stop scooping okay now just need to pull this so we want our sleeve to be here whoops I didn't realize, or I was hoping that this wouldn't become a full reblocking, but this will show you how you can coax some extra, <laughs> extra inches out of your fabric if you need to. And if you are using a wool yarn instead of these plant fibers, it should not shrink back like this. So this should not be an issue for you if you're using wool. But like I said, if you want it to be a wash and wear project, and you're using plant fibers, plan on it shrinking back. This shrank back three inches straight across it. It was only 15 inches wide, right? And I need it to be 18 inches wide. So that's a total difference of six inches in the circumference. That's bananas. That's a lot. All right, so let's actually, let's pull this up and here. So see, I'm kind of mimicking that shaping that we added with the hanger with my blocking wire, right? So that I get just a little bit of a shoulder in here and then we leave that scoop there. Okay, and the last thing that I can do is I can stretch. So I kind of need to pull both layers here. And so see, it has no issue stretching down there. It just doesn't want to do it on its own. So, oh, oops, we've got to talk it into it. All right, so we'll pin that out along the bottom. And this is why I didn't wash it until I dripped pizza sauce on it. <laughs> oh, and my AC just kicked on. Sorry if there is a, a rumbling in the background. I will wrap this up. I am almost done. And so this is pretty much the same way that I blocked it originally as well. because I did have to get pretty aggressive with it. So if you like the fabric to be wide open, like if you like the, the, the spaces in the granny squares to stretch, stretch open, um, then you might, you might like this look. And if you don't mind the blocking, or if you are not a messy eater, like I am apparently, <laughs> then, then you won't have to wash it quite so frequently. All right, so 
Here I have, this is my bust measurement. Let me just get my, oops, I missed right here. We want that sleeve open. There we go. All right, so let's make sure that I'm still on target. So up here, we've got 17 and a half inches. And I had 17 hem to shoulder. So yeah, I stretched it up from this line. I stretched it up about half an inch further here than I had before. So that means that it will probably fall back down <laughs> with wear. But it's already done, so we'll leave it there. All right, and then straight across. Hopefully my head's on the way. All right, we've got her back to 18 inches again under the arms. So that was my goal. And yeah, that's pretty much how I originally blocked it as well. So if you want to go to all of those lengths for blocking, then that's how I did it using the blocking wires through the shoulders and the sides. And then you can add, so this gives you a little bit of waist shaping, letting this curve in here. And I probably don't need to pin those corners out quite so aggressively. So I will move that pin there. I do want it to hold the side, but I don't need it to be pinned out to points there. Um, if you want it to be wash and wear, plan on um, blocking just your squares before you join them to make sure you know how your fabric is going to behave so that you can adjust your size accordingly so that it doesn't shrink back six inches on you <laughs> when you wash it the first time. And then you can use the same method that I started with using the hanger and just kind of lay it flat and shape it the way you want to without doing all the extra pinning. Um, if you're feeling brave, you could try hanging it and seeing how it dries that way. But that is, I'm calling her good. And yeah, now I just need to let her dry. Out here in the desert, it only takes a day. Um, if you are in a humid environment, it may take a couple days because it is a double-sided fabric. Um, so that would be another advantage of using the hanger to dry it, but then you will get, or you could get some um, length from the weight of the fabric pulling, hanging from the clothes hanger. But if that's what you want, then that works to your advantage. Okay, I am going to get up out of my floor now. One of these days, I hope that I will have a table that I can do this on instead of having to do it in my floor. But for now, I'll see you next time. Bye.